This video is on the French SE50 Sherman, a medium tank of 5.0 with over 200 millimeters of penetration. Hope you guys enjoy this intro. It's got quick reload. Trying to catch this breach. Yeah, we got it. He's not angling at all. This guy knows his mate. I'm dead. Well, well, there you go. Two T thirty four eighty fives. One didn't see me. No, that's a heavier one. One of the two. This is an interesting one. Is there somebody coming behind them? Oh no. Lord only knows where this guy is now. I can hear engine noise to my right. Oh, there he goes. Holy crap. That's a big lad. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are featuring the M44 SE50. Now recently this thing got yeeted from 4.7 to 5.0 and I can honestly see why. This monster has a 75mm cannon that lobs this thing at a thousand meters a second with 202 millimeters of pin. Not only does it do an astounding amount of damage and obviously can pin most heavy tanks, but it's really easy to aim as well. But the gun is really the only thing that's good about this tank. It's on a really wobbly platform that doesn't move around so well. The gun as well, of course, has negative 10 degrees of elevation, meaning that you can fight on death lades, but with an expert crew, it has an eight second reload. Comparatively, it's slower than even the Panther here. And since now you'll be fighting against the Allies, you'll be playing against Shermans that have got six second reloads or even five. Now this thing's gun handling is absolutely miserable. It is pretty comparable to the Firefly, this has no short stab like most other Shermans have. That means if you come up against an enemy Sherman that does have stab and you jam on the brakes, you are definitely going to get shot before you can get shot off. And you definitely don't want that to happen. This thing doesn't have much armor at all, except up here on the mantlet where things can get a little bit trolly. Now I love pretty much every Sherman in the game, but this guy in the Firefly I just don't get along with. The reload is too long to flank and get multiple kills. You're of course firing a solid shot, so you're playing the Gaijin damage lottery at times. And the gun handling is so bad, it can cost you precious seconds. But it's not a bad tank. It's a good tank, it's just that I don't get along with it. Basically what I'm saying here is, maximum penetration doesn't count. It's what you do with it. Anyway, I played a lot of games in this thing, and a lot of them were really boring but not these two games I'm about to show you. And the reason the games were boring is sometimes you get paired with Germany and USA along with France and it is just an absolute ruffle stump for the enemy team. France, USA and Germany are probably the best nations in the game at this battle rating so it's really just not fair against things like the IS-2 that have a 20 second reload to try and deal with heavy tanks. Either you'll get games where you'll just absolutely trounce the enemy and then they'll be over in just a few minutes and other times you'll get killed and then you'll be immediately spawn camped because your team has just melted. War Thunder's in a funny state. Regardless, these two games were phenomenal, the enemy team put up a great fight and they were really enjoyable. I hope you enjoy them too. Let's head into battle. One cap, fill up tier one cap, Stalingrad. Hey, what have we got over here? Nothing. Fighting Britain, Germany and Italy. Bro, what the hell is this map set up? And I've almost driven to this one. This is pretty dumb. What is that? A panther? Oh, it's a Tiger 1 player. I'm, I'm scared of the Brits. Or a, or a pushy panther would also do it. What about a KV-1C? Yeah, that, that also. 
Frère et Kim. So, like, there's quite a lot of heavy tanks around about me. Just shot me out. You know, sure, what the hell just hit me? Like at all? No idea. My whole entire turret got wiped out. There's no hole in my turret to indicate where the hell I got shot from, though. Back that way? In front of me here? No clue. And these tigers just driving on by. Was it this guy? He doesn't know my breach isn't fixed yet. Oh, he's over here. Smoke that. Okay, we have no loader, so 16 seconds that we can fire each time. That whole thing was just a weird. I don't know that. I don't know why solid shot will damage the rest of the crew, but it will damage components. Whatever you shoot, a hetzer or a jagdpanther. Or a Yag Panzer. There's a tank here. A Panther, I think. Like behind this building, though. What are you? A Breda? Kinetic rounds don't hull break anymore. So I need to get a breach shot on him. Or something. Wait, Panther F is pushing now. Here's, here's Breda, boy. Is more than tall enough to cause me a, a mischief. Here comes the Panther F. I'm gonna reload in time. Oh no, no, I need to. What is wrong with these dudes? I I don't know what it is with Panther F players playing aggressively. And this, oh yeah, Panther's hands are just fired. Just try and shoot his driver again, I guess. Oh, he drove away. Oh, he hasn't. He's still there. Oh, he's dead. He's long gone. And there's a SPAA here. There's something on A. A tank destroyer of some description. I'm gonna try and move. See if I can see the A cap. It might be that poof coop or something that I missed earlier because I got shot from behind. I still don't know what hit me. <laughs> I still have no idea what hit me. I need to get this A cap. This is a problem. I've moved into a bad spot. Is that a Churchill? Yeah, it is. He, actually, he may appear here. He did. Oh, there's a guy up there. Yeah, the 457 fired at somebody. Uh, there's not much, like, to commentate here. Oh, it's a QF RAM. Right, okay. Well, he, he's going to be a problem because, like I said, kinetic hull break isn't a thing anymore. So, solid shot won't actually do anything to him. It's just a Panzer. No, that's a Tiger. It's a lucky shot. Ah, there, there's the, the other Tiger that crossed.
A jumbo pushed up that side. Enemy just smoked here. I'm gonna die soon. Not sure. Is that guy coming my way? <laughs> Excuse me while I rotate my camera 1700 different directions. A buffers. This guy's looking for me. Looking for a plane. Ah, bad timing. Bad timing. Team's kind of taking ground back. Where is this panther going? Attention to the map. Yes. If that panther takes us, the, the ram is the thing I'm more scared of. I just have to push up. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose on cap points if I don't push up. Where the heck did this panther go? Oh, he's here. The tiger's there as well. And the QF ram is to... my right somewhere. This panther doesn't see me. Panther's dead. Right, um, while I'm reloading, we gotta decap this, give this tiger a fright, hopefully, and then our team might push up and help. It's gonna make him angry. Is he turning his turret towards me? No, he's not putting his fire out, which means he's still fighting someone. Yeah, I've done that. No, well, this game wasn't very interesting at the start, but it's definitely developing now. A lot of the enemy team is left. Probably thinking that secure victory and then Mr. Yoinky McGee comes along with an SA-50 with three crew members missing and somehow manages to take back the point. So, we're in for a wild ride here. Damn, I, I, I was able to see that guy for a second or so, but not anymore. Right, beyond, against my better judgement, we might get bombed here, but I'm crew replenishing. The Sherman is coming and is not really paying attention. Good, he was already shot and I think he actually just got shot as I fired. Right, we got a loader back now. Back to an 8 second reload. Our team is coming back into the match. This is really good. Not ideal. Not terrible either. Pretty stupid move though, by me. I really just wanted to gain ground. I'm gonna get bombed anyway. By the sounds of it, we're in trouble. We can't hit that guy. He is gonna repair way quicker than I am. And someone's probably gonna appear to my right hand side before even this guy re pushes. Yeah, here, he, here he is. He missed though. Two, one, and we are moving. CB ends up with the gun depression issues. That is a that's a big hit on him. 
Oh, he he is a that is an aggressive maneuver, right there, chief. No more significant damage to him, but we'll hold him off for a little while. It's really about time now, more than anything else. Something else ahead of me. It's a tiger. And another tank. I think I just died because I came you one C here and non penned them 200 mil a pen, by the way. Our Panther's moving again, but he hasn't noticed. I am not sure how that didn't kill that guy. Okay. This is how you manage multiple opponents at one time. He's on fire. Nice turret rings. So slow. Right, good. Breach and move on so you're not stressing yourself out. Trying to finish somebody off. That that oh he's he's quit. Uh, yeah, that, that shot should have disabled that KV1 initially. But I didn't. I'm actually really stressed. I'm sweating a little bit. In a good way. This is probably the most exciting game that I've had in this tank. It's been pretty boring games up until now. And this has been one of those ones that's just like, yeah, like got my blood flowing. Like, hey, the enemy actually put a conscientious effort and I, I was having to think, use my brain. Pretty cool. Fighting Germany and Britain is hard. Really hard work. That's going to be game. That's going to be game. Our team did fantastic. We can't ask any more of them. They they came back when they needed to. Awesome. GG. Let's see. Okay. Maybe because <laughs> someone calling somebody a hacker. Okay. Right. Frozen ass on the map. Say that I don't like. On the side of the map, I don't like. Help you. I recognize that name. We are hell of a slow on snow compared to a normal Sherman. Why though? I can't even break 10 kph going up here. Usual path. Stop us getting spawn blocked. We are in trouble. A lot of it. We got beat to the punch by a lot quicker vehicles. Good luck, M10. No, that was not very clever. There's a couple of things coming. P34 just picking our team off. And, and he hears me, I'm sure of it. There's an enemy behind me. That guy was up on the cliff. The Sherman. We got two M18s on the A cap though. Oh, there's a guy coming this way. What the hell are you? A nightmare mobile. I can't see this dude that's up here. And I think he's definitely going to see me before I see him. I reckon he's tucked himself up in these... It's an R3.
Thank you very much, Jumbo. Stupid things, dude. Look how many jumbos we have. Three, three French jumbos. <laughs> right, we gotta let the jumbos take the first hits. Then we can go get the, the finishing blows. What is that? Is that dead? No. It's a big old Churchill. There's something right there in front of me. Uh, right, okay. But my jumbo didn't notice. Oh god, there's a nut. Is that a firefly? It was a Tipo. Dude, I don't know why this keeps happening to me. And I mean, I one, I just keep getting frozen past anyway. So. That's the reason why I'm playing Frozen Pass. I knew I saw a tank here. 34.85. And whatever thing is down here. I don't see any track evidence, so he's probably the back of this rock. Bad news for me. No, okay. <gasps> Call an ambulance! <laughs> but not for me. <laughs> that was one of those moments. Ah, why did he not shoot? Oh. oh, look what it is. Time to return the favor. Or not, because my gun's so wobbly. I'm going after that thing. Oh, no, I'm not. There's an Avenger here. Right, where the hell is this R3 gone? Dude, what is happening this match? I mean, it's exciting, but it's weird. It's weird exciting. It's weak exciting. Where's this R3 at? That plane fell out of the sky with no kill credit. Right, R3. Is that the same guy, by the way? Can anyone can anyone tell me in the comments? Was that the same dude who specifically came for me? Who could have killed that jumbo or that guy, but decided to try and kill me instead. And it did not go well. Oh, I'm dead. No jumbo! Don't worry, he has more bombs. Far more. Yeah, dude. Keep driving under him. They're, they're gonna kill me. What's wrong with my screen right now? He pancaked. By the way, if that happens to you, just keep driving into the bombs. It's kind of a see me. Is that another Avenger? Mm hmm. Right turret cheek on those. There's an enemy up there. I'm dead now, for sure. Now I'm dead. Out of all of the things that's happened, I'm either going to get shot in the back or this chappy's going to see me. <laughs> No, don't 50 kill my barrel. No, 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 no. No, no, don't 50 kill my barrel. I know you can do it. I can't believe I'm not dead. I'm going to give that jumbo a thank you because once again, once again, Matt's Rampage comes along to try and save me. This is wild, dude. This is a wild game. Amy. M4 is getting shot. From where? <laughs> I 
heavy here, here. Our trees. Nothing at the top of that hill. M4A3 just got shot here too. Another plane. No, an IS-1 killed him. What's the IS-1? STRV-74. IS-1's gonna shoot me from behind, but... Uh, Helping the Sherman's probably a good idea, right? Who hasn't noticed? Wait. Is, is that the only one? Where's the STRV-74? An enemy is pushing me. Here. I hear him. There's an IS-1 as well. No nope, Breda. Very dead. I hear you. Oh, I'm in, I'm in trouble. Nope. <laughs> Did what a boring tank! Right? This tank is boring. Odd buzz. What a boring tank. Really boring, yeah. Never been so bored in my life. But on C. By the way, I haven't looked at my score yet. I've just looked at the enemy's roster. Right, I, I guess we're going C. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That's what we're doing. I seen another plane. Oh, he's way back there. Oh. It's the STRV 74. And he won't be shooting me back, that's for sure. Is this guy alive? No. Definitely not. Whoops, it is. Is that bombs for me? Found the IS-1. No! If I'm finally... I'm dethroned. <laughs> I'm dethroned. Yeah, he saw me. God, if I didn't dip down there and... Oh, he's... somebody else got him. God, dude. Uh, I guess... I'm gonna go SB2C. Let's go. You being chased? That's just weird audio. Hold on. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. This guy, hey, Skinner, I've already been in a game with him. On, a. Uh, Ash River, where I mostly played a plane. We have most of the zones. A Spitfire. Oh, also, hey, I want a dogfight against a Spitfire in this thing. There, there is an enemy down here. I don't know where he is though. <laughs> he's definitely here and he's catching me. Oh. Oh, the Spitfire's gone. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was pretty cringy. Oh, my plane. The man shot all my things. Where is this plane? Above me? And what? Where is the plane that was chasing me? I don't, I don't know. This whole game was just weird. Yep, that definitely was a weird game, and I still don't like this Sherman. It's good, but to me, it's just kind of a little bit boring to play. You can play this tank super aggressively, you really can with any tank, honestly, but just because of the reload speed and the way the gun handles, it's just not a viable thing to do unless you're a really, really, really good player. 
and that's something that I'm not. Oh, and by the way, shout out to Matt's Rampage for saving my life, that R3. That thing definitely would have killed me, and we wouldn't have got that footage at all. And also, a massive shout out to all my patrons over on Patreon, especially the tier 3 folks who get a shout out. That's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Thumpin' Bunny, Kyle of White, Houndy, Gateway, Bill L, Trash Panda, Rige, Zema, Kin, Salt Lord, Warpig, the Firepiper, Sexy, Vanian, Yogbo, Justin Darlin, Big Bearded Moose, Shaf, Mr. Buswell, Fork, J Tormy, and Fearsome Scotsman. And if you've got to this far in the video, to everyone who's still here, I really appreciate you. If you'd leave me a like and a wee comment, I would appreciate you even more. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye.